In just a few months, Title 42 is expected to expire, which means thousands more migrants are expected to cross the U.S.-Mexico border. Governor Abbott is working to prepare Texans for that May deadline. Tonight, our Jeremiah Marshall shares how city leaders from across the valley are preparing for the anticip anticipated influx of illegal crossings. The Border Patrol is already overwhelmed with the mass numbers of migrants coming across. Border Patrol officials say they have their hands full with the ongoing massive number of illegal crossings. These crossings range from the federal level even to the local level. McAllen City leaders say the increase in illegal crossings have gained traction since 2014 with numbers going up and down. Uh, we've seen well over 450,000 people cross through uh, in the McAllen area since that time and just in the last 12 months, we've had well over 70,000 that have crossed into the United States through McAllen. Governor Greg Abbott taking this issue not only in the recent State of the State address, but also in the current legislative session. And the governor's latest visit to the Valley, he said his goal is to get Texans prepared for the expiration of Title 42 come May. Uh, according to uh, federal estimates themselves, they said that once Title 42 is eliminated, we can expect up to 18,000 people crossing the border a day. McAllen Assistant City Manager and Emergency Management Coordinator Jeff Johnston says to stay prepared, leaders are keeping a close eye on the federal government and updates from Border Patrol. They say if numbers continue to rise come May, Ansaldua's Park can be used as a resource. We will continue doing what we have to do to make sure that we facilitate those that are passing through as required by the federal government and at the same time keep our residents and businesses thriving and doing what they do every day. Working for you, I'm Jeremiah Marshall. And there is still an emergency declaration in place for the city of McAllen, which is connected, which is connected to immigration and the pandemic. Johnson says about 118 migrants cross the border each day. He says that's a lot more manageable from the past.